Hello, and welcome back to my channel. This drawer, otherwise known as my pal drawer, is officially out of hand again. It doesn't even moderately close. Uh, and then I kind of, I consider there to be three zones of my makeup that are out of control. So there's this drawer, and then over there, there's a bucket that I keep, like, all my mascaras and all that stuff in. Like, all my mascaras. I have two eyes. I only need one. Like, why do I have so many? And then I also have, like, a three-tiered thing with drawers that I keep my lip products in, and all of these things are overflowing. So we're going to go through them all today. There is a fourth zone of my makeup, and that's right over there on my mirror, but we're going to leave those because it's all my foundations and concealers and all that, and they're actually fine. Like, they're not overflowing or anything. I like how they're set up, and I'm not going to get rid of any of them. But this is out of control, and I keep things in the past doing this under the guise of, well, what if I need it at some point? But, like, what am I going to need some of this stuff for? Like, how do I convince myself that I need it? I keep being like, oh, well, what if I need it for a YouTube video? I don't. This is not my job. I don't create that many things. Like, out of control. So, unfortunately, I can't donate any of the makeup because it's all used. Uh, believe me, I checked. I can't donate any of them. But I can give them away. So, things that go in the garbage are going to go in the garbage. And then things that I can give away reasonably will go in here. And that's how we're going to do this. I'm stressed. I haven't even started yet. So this is the Drunk Elephant uh, birthday gift. They only have this this year and the Kat Von D one, so only this. And so I just got that because my birthday is this week. So we're just going to put that over here. You, want, you, you see what I mean? <laughs> and then my ColourPop uh, no filter loose powder is, uh, is a buzz. Like that was not even negotiable. So these two palettes from my Yes or Yes bags are right on top here. And this is the crown palette. Now this palette is beautiful, but I'm never going to use it because I have other bluey and purpley eyeshadows that I gravitate to more, so that I'm never going to use. But the Emerald Palette by Beauty Creations, I adore, and I will definitely keep that. So this is a keep, and this is a giveaway. Now this palette by W7, the Romance Palette, I also really like. But I'm never going to use it. Like, if I look at this, all the colors that I'm going to use are in other palettes that I have, so we're just going to get rid of that as well. The Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighter Palette, I have to keep it, just because it's got a blue and a... Like, I just like, I like the colors in here too much, so that's a keeper. This little palette, okay, I bought this at Sally's a week or two ago. This is by the brand Collab, like Collab, but it's, yeah, you know what I mean. And this palette was like 20 bucks, and it's really rad. Like, this is all the pink tones that I adore. Like, I have a tendency to, like, I'll use this color, and then this color, and then this color, and then, and then I just keep going. I'm actually wearing these shades on my face today. I really like it. I wish there was a mirror in the top, but this palette is definitely not going anywhere because I've used it pretty much every day since I got it, and it's not going anywhere. This little uh, elf eyeshadow is in the shade Temptress, and it's a little loose, pinky eyeshadow, and I've had it for forever, and I do love it. Like, it reminds me of uh, the one shade in the uh, W7 palette that I loved, so I definitely had to keep this little loose eyeshadow just because I just like it. I like it. I really have to make a conscious effort throughout this to not do the KonMari, KonMari method, whatever, however you pronounce it. Because, like, that's like holding things in your hand and seeing if they spark joy. Like, all of my makeup sparks joy. I love all of it. I don't want to get rid of any of it, but I have to if I want to close my drawer here. So, I have to be realistic. Like, I really love this MAC palette. And I love all the things inside. And I used to, like, exclusively use the shade to contour... And I bought this because I really wanted a red eyeshadow, and I bought this because I really wanted a blue. But I never use this. I wish I had a smaller little Z palette. You chill. I don't know, I'm not married to the idea of keeping this one. I feel like all the stuff that's on top, I'm more likely to keep than whatever's on the bottom. So if it doesn't look like I'm getting rid of a lot, hopefully we can change that by, by the time we get to the bottom. Keeping Butter Blush. Keeping this Visionary. I think it's just supposed to be an eyeshadow that I got in my Yes or Yes, but I use it as blush. I love that. Love, love, love that. It reminds me a lot of the ColourPop thingy here in Prenup, which I also love. This pixie blush is so cute, but I never use it, and it's essentially brand new. ColourPop Flexitarian is a keeper. Too Faced White Peach Palette. Some people look at this and go so basic. I look at it and I go, I love you. Obviously, the two shimmery shades at the bottom met Untimely Deaths. I did not drop this palette. They literally just up in peace by themselves. But that's okay, because I never use them. I used everything else in this palette instead, so I love it. We're keeping it. I really like this Essence eyeshadow palette, this I'm with the band. I thought it was dirty, but it's just the pattern on the front. But I never use it. I, just, I don't want to accidentally get rid of all my purple eyeshadows. 
I never use this palette. I think a lot of a lot of that's because it doesn't have a mirror. And I just have nicer eyeshadow, so we're gonna get rid of that one. Have to keep the contour palette. The Ula La palette by freaking ColourPop is like my favorite palette. One of my favorite palettes I own. Even though I messed up a couple of shades when I dropped it. Oh man, this Moonstruck shade is really having a hard time. She's she busting right out. I break this palette. Please know that I won't hesitate to buy a new one. I will buy a new one like that minute. I really like this palette because I think it's cute. But I never use this. I'm gonna be responsible. You know what? Like, uh, freaking Mello has been posting all about this palette on their Instagram for the past like week straight, and it's made me want to use it because it's been hidden in the bottom of this, so I haven't been able to get at it. So we're de I'm definitely keeping this one and just using it more. We'll put it near the top. This highlighter is so beautiful. This little. So yeah, I'm doing a really bad job. Like a really bad job. I'm stressed about this. I never use this. Unless I need it for something specific. Like unless I'm like, I need a blue shiny. <laughs> I'm gonna part with the shadow box palette. I'm gonna do it. Keeping this for sure. Look at it, beautiful. This is part of the reason why I'm getting rid of the shadow box palette because all the bluey, shiny shades that I would want are in here. Same with uh, the red one, wherever that is. I think this green one is supposed to go in the garbage at this point. Yeah, it's like completely, yeah. You know what? We're not going to give this little green shadow away. We're just going to throw her out. Definitely keeping this. Definitely keeping this. I feel like this and my contour palette are musts, especially for Halloween time. I kind of wish I would have bought the other one too. The little, like the one that was sort of bloody. Pretty much anything Colourpop is staying. Just... I can't help but feel like someone else out there would be able to make a better use of this NARS blush. I mean, it's beautiful and I really like it, but I'm never, like, I've never used it and I'm never going to use it. Same with this, um, City Color Blush Palette that I got in my Ipsy bag once. Like, I love this palette. I really do. But I've never, I just don't wear purple blush. I have both of these colors and other things, so we'll get rid of that. We'll try to be responsible later. These are all my loose pigments by MAC, so we'll keep those. This Sephora Collection blush, I think is really cute. What do you think? Just like a light, sort of peachy with a gold. Wait, but where's the... Where's the, 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 you know what I'm talking about. This. How different are these? Those are really close. This one's a little bit pinker. But just a little bit. I don't know, it sparks joy. We'll keep the Sephora one, maybe. Or do I keep this one instead? Ugh! What if I keep both of these and get rid of the Physician's Formula one? Let's do that instead. Woo! -hoo! I really love this Cindy Luminizer, but I never wear her because she's just kind of too dark for me. Like. She's got a little too much pinky brownie in her for me, I think. She's also kind of breaking, apparently. Oh, my little MAC by 9 palette. This palette, I still think, is so cute. But this was their Burgundy by 9 palette, and, like, look at it. It's not Burgundy. Not by now with standards. So as much as I adore this palette, and I used to wear the shit out of it, I'm gonna get rid of it. Like an adult. Oh, man. I love this Mirabella highlighter. It was, like, lost on my little desk here. This Gemstone palette is a mess. Look at it. It's, like, falling apart. But it's got, this is like my replacement for the Shadow Box palette, I think. Right? Oh my god, my drawer is falling apart. Like, <laughs> the stuff in this drawer was so heavy that it caused the bottom of the drawer to, like, bowl. Do I keep the Maybelline Fit Me powder or get rid of it? I don't know what to do. I love this cover effect, but it's dark. Like, maybe this would be a good powder for, like, in the summer when I have a little bit of a tan. Like, it's not that much darker than me. I don't remember. How do I like it? It's pretty. I have to keep it. I would like to get rid of this, but I'm just too emotionally attached. I'm gonna get rid of the It Cosmetics powder. I forgot. I really don't like that one. I know it's a sin, but I have to keep Pastel Goth. You see me just whack myself on the face with it? Okay, so let's see if I can do this. The hardest thing is, like, with a drawer. Like, whatever I put in the back here, I'm never gonna see it. Oh my god, that's it!
Wow. Okay, so for zones 2 and 3, this is zone 2, zone 3 is behind it. But I guess we have to go through zone 1 and a half first, which is this stuff. But these are all my nice palettes, like that's why I keep them over here. Except I didn't get rid of the bomb the last time I did my room, if you recall. Because I was stressed about it. But I feel less stressed about it. So these are all palettes we're keeping for sure. Except Naked 3. I don't know what to do about Naked 3. Like, it's one of the few palettes that I'm sentimental with because I bought it so early on in my makeup, expensive makeup loving life. But I never use it. But I feel like I should keep it. I don't know. Ciate is Aesthetica with, with palette, which realistically I'm like never going to use this. It's awesome. Don't get me wrong. The quality of this palette is superb. But like how often am I going to get like use a lip palette, you know? So we'll just bring this forward. So the Kush mascara I just bought because I believe my other mascaras, all of them are like old and dried out because my eyes were like reacting to them. So I've been wearing the Kush mascara for the past two days and I love it. So we're going to throw out every other mascara I own. Like, and I mean throw them out, not give them away. Except for the ColourPop one, obviously, because that one's blue. Throw you out, throw you out. I didn't bring the garbage over here. What am I doing? We're definitely going to give this away. I got this at Gem Beauty a long time ago, and I've never used it. The end of it has broken off, though. Maybe I should throw this out. Maybe that's just the word. I the Fix and Perfect Rimmel Primer was one of the first reviews on this channel, which is why it should go in the garbage. I love the I Heart Color Intensifying Eyelid Primer, but I've had it for too long. Same with this Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I've had that for like literally a thousand years. I don't even know half of what's in here. Ooh, what are you? MAC NW15 Concealer? When did I get you? Do you still feel usable? Oh no, you are raw card. That is a garbage if I ever saw one. Well, that's depressing. I hardly even used it. Damn, past Abby had no chill. I'm gonna throw out all my Benefit Professional samples as well. Even though I like that, it breaks me out. These little Sally Beauty eyeshadows that I have are beautiful. But I never use them because I never know that they're in here. I can't even get these eyeshadows out. Oh man, I loved this eyeshadow when I first got it from Sally's. Because it's just like this mauvey color. You can tell my makeup style has like never changed. So all of these Sally's eyeshadows I have literally had since I was in like grade 8. And they just, they, they need to go. They need to go. So the one of these from this new 6 kit that I loved, I lost, of course. Uh, I thought some boost did one time. I actually specifically remember losing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the one called Purity. And get rid of the one called Pixie. So this is a ColourPop Supernova shadow. We're keeping that. We're also going to keep all of these glitters that I have. I've had all of them for like too long. But I still love them and I still use them on my channel. You've probably seen. I also have this Heavy Metal Liquid Liner by Urban Decay. Definitely keeping that. What's in this one? An Annabelle black eyeshadow. We're going to throw that out. I remember when that was the blackest eyeshadow I had ever seen in my life. I really love this Cover Effects Mattifying Primer on days when my name is going to be matte, so we're going to keep that. We're also going to keep this little e.l.f. liquid liner. Hold on! What? What has happened here? Why are there two? And they feel about the same amount full. One of them must be sort of dried out, and I didn't throw it out like a wiener. All of my Hello Halos are staying, by the way. This Naked Cosmetics glitter kit, I'm going to put it in the garbage because it just makes too much of a mess. This Beauty Creations liquid highlighter is stunning and it's staying. Ooh, the little metal. I like that. Well, we're going to keep that. We're going to keep all of my jumbo sticks as well. I only have three. Okay, don't judge me, but I do have the Kat Von D Brow Pomade. I didn't buy it. And Sam gave it to me because she used to have black and green hair, if you recall. And regardless, the exchange happened before we knew Kat Von D was anti-vax. I hate that I really love this brow pomade, so we're definitely keeping it. I also have the Tarte one in here somewhere. There it is. I mean, 
And Anastasia Beverly Hills, not her. Um, my ABH one dried out on me really fast, but I still have it, and I really like it. And I have this Tarte eyeliner that's in like a really fun seafoam green color, so we're gonna keep that too. We're gonna definitely throw out this Smashbox Instant Matte thing for lipsticks. Who thought that was a good idea? We're gonna keep my little Benefit Shy Beam sample, because I actually really like Shy Beam. What are you? Cover effect, a little gold glitter. I didn't know I had it. It might be nice when I have a tan. I still have a full size of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm gonna keep it just because I have the full size. Should I keep the Tarte Glow thing? Maybe I should. And then we're definitely keeping the Dewy Stick. We're gonna throw, uh, give away this. And last but not least, we're gonna throw out this Pixie thing. Par partly because the lid is broken. Well, that looks better, don't you think? Especially, like, this is my glitter glue. Like, everything in here is stuff that I have and will and shall use. Like, this is all phenomenal now. Okay. Let's start with what's out on the table here, shall we? Okay, so a lot of these, they're out because I wear them. So... Most of these will be keep, like Fenty is a keep, Cat or Anastasia Beverly Hills catnip is a keep, this in Blossom is a keep, keep, keep. This one I can get rid of. Keep. I could probably get rid of Miha, just because I feel like I own her in a thousand other different formulas. Like keep. I think I can, pr I should probably throw the glitter flip out. I don't know if you can see, the light might be too bright, but it's like separated inside and it's like yellow and gooey, so I should throw that out. So this is Glass A by Bite, they love that. I bought this because it's blue and I wanted a blue lip color. That's eyes and so we're definitely keeping that. I think this is a throw out, I think it's been that long since I bought it that I should throw it out. Same with that. And then wherever speed dial is, I'm gonna get rid of that one too. No, I can't get rid of a Mac. I have to keep all my Macs. What am I doing? I'm stressed. And then the thing is, eyes and guards here. Rivendell's in my purse. What else is in my purse? I just can't bear to part with it, you know? It makes me sad. I don't even wear the color half the time. Because I'm too busy eating. Okay, what's in here? I can get rid of this Smashbox one, I never wear it. I can get rid of this. I never wear it. And that's it. No, I'm kidding. I think I kept this, the Pop and Pop, just because I wanted like a bright option. But I never wear bright lips. Like that one I can probably just get rid of as well. Right? Maybe I'll get rid of the Kylie Gloss too. Like maybe I'll just take the plunge, get rid of the Kylie Gloss. But I like it. I'm gonna get rid of this, even though I... Are you still recording? You are. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this Rimmel, because I love it, but I never wear it. This one should be in the lipstick bullet drawer, excuse me, miss. Okay, so these are all gonna be liquid lipsticks. I only have two reds. That makes me kind of depressed, and they're kind of the same color. Yeah, these are exactly the same red, right? So I can get rid of the Sephora Collection one. I'm only getting rid of the Sephora Collection one, because I've had it longer. I like that I only own three lip glosses. One of them is pretty much clear, one of them is nude, and one of them is sort of yellowy. Oh, and this one's pink. That was far too easy. Okay, so for the last se section of this, we have to go through my eyeliners and eyebrow products. And lip liners. Basically all pencils of sorts go in this drawer. So this one I wish I used more often. This is MAC Sore. And by sore, I mean like sore, not like a sore. That would be disgusting. Can you imagine? Man, these Aqua XL liners really don't work on me, and they never have. I'm gonna throw them in the garbage. I didn't know I had a mini of the Tarte Sex Kitten. I love that liner. This Duo Stroke liner is so good, but I've had it for a thousand years. So we're gonna throw it out. Ciate Starstruck, we're gonna keep, because there's a star. Look how small this is. I should just throw it out. It's gonna give me, like, carpal tunnel just using it. Ooh, Smashbox liner we're gonna keep, because I remember liking that. This is a MAC liner, I like that. Yellow. We're almost done. Home stretch. This is the red ink liner, I like that. 
But that's everything from in there. Now, I think one of the issues is that I have all these liquid liners, but I never, like, know what I have. So I'm going to take all the liquid liners out of my hand. And they're going to go in, like, a separate cup or something, I think. Doesn't that seem like it makes more sense? Like, I think I would rather just reach in here to get, like, pencil products, you know? And what's up here? This should just be eyebrows. I obviously know it's much more than that. So, this Ardell eyebrow gel I like. This is uh, another purple eyeliner. We're gonna keep that. This is a black liner. Sort of me. See, they get all mixed up. Like, this is a liquid liner. This is a Colourpop liner. This is a, a Benzo highbrow. This is a Colourpop liner. This is the Colourpop eyebrow product. Oh my god, I didn't even like grab everything out of there the first time. I didn't notice. This can probably go under the reach. Mix white eyeliner and then chill it in there. A brow product. So this Rimmel brow product is a little unique because it's like powder in like an applicator like this. So I am going to put it up here with my brow stuff. This is the Rimmel Tattoo Brow. This is lip liner. Did you see me just drop two things like straight up? Eyebrow. Lip liner. Eyeliner. Eyebrow. Much better. Thank you for taking the time today to go through my, my makeup with me. What do you think about my decluttering? Do you think, do you think I decluttered enough? Do you think I threw enough out, gave enough stuff away? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And I'll see you next time.